I love to hike, I love photography, I love to cook. Don't let Joya Messinger's typical hobbies fool you, because she's far from typical. She founded and runs the venture back Avoc, a company that's made the world's first personal wireless video network. Nobody's made battery-operated, wireless, completely wire-free cameras that stream video to the internet. I mean, we're the only people that do that. It's ultra-low power. There's a lot of technology involved in that. <laughs> Avok is the only of its kind, and Joya is one of very few. Less than 3% of uh, venture-backed technology companies have women CEOs. Mm. So, um, so it's a very small crowd of people that, uh, if you can call it a crowd. But hey, you know, somebody's got to break that, ceiling, that, that glass ceiling, so why not me? That's Joya's favorite question. Why not me? If not more simply, why not? She and her business partner first got the idea for Avoc after developing a camera that could be swallowed like a pill, one of the medical field's first endoscopic cameras. When we developed kind of the guts of this little endoscopic capsule. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then we thought, hey, you know, this application is kind of interesting. Where else can this be taken? And we felt that, um, you know, cameras and video is so pervasive in society these days that people really kind of want to see what's going on at all times, everywhere and anywhere. The Department of Defense was the first to take note of Joya's small wireless cameras, which were placed in areas cleared by the government. So we were the first people that kind of came up with a network of battery-operated cameras that the Defense Department um, uh, funded. They were very excited about it. And easy to kind of deploy and throw away cameras uh -huh. in a way. And then uh, after we did that, we raised around venture capital and then we brought it to the consumer market, which is what we're selling now. Since 2004, Avoc has developed these tiny, wireless, and battery operated video cameras, which you can place anywhere. Then you can watch the footage in live time through the internet. Well, this is very cool. So right now you see my, my backyard right now. It's live. And all a little you have breeze going on A little there. breeze going on right there. And if you want to see my front yard, I just dragged this camera over. And, and this is down. on the website. The That's website. right. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to myviewzone.com. You have your own private account. Mm -hmm. And uh, you log on to your own private account. Mm -hmm. And you can then access that recording from anywhere at any time. And there's somebody right now, I have some workers doing yeah, work in my house that. right now. So, yep, so there's somebody in my driveway. And then so, if you're on the go. If you're on the go, you then you can, your just your, you can use your phone and your, all your cameras are available right here on your phone. Yeah. On your Blackberry or iPhone or Android uh, um, yeah. device. And yeah, you're ready to go. You can watch go. it anywhere. You can watch it anywhere. By anywhere, Joya means anywhere. That's because Joya wanted a box cameras to rely on the internet for instant, worldwide access. Everything we do here is web-based, so you don't need to download anything to your computer. It's nice. all just on the web, available and on the web. And you were saying it takes people one minute. Yeah, one minute. minute, one minute to set it up. Yeah. Nice. And since they don't have to download any code, it's always available on the web. So if you're at an internet cafe in India, yeah. you can watch your own home. The Avoc camera, although intentionally simple in design and use, has 13 patents and so far requires a sophisticated engineering and software team of over 45 employees. The company is just one year old. This is an anaconic chamber. Okay, what is that? <laughs> uh, well, it's a chamber that uh, does not allow echoes. That's the an anaconic chamber. Okay. So, and basically it's used for uh, RF testing. It will, it's sealed uh, metal enclosure so no RF signal can get out or in, which in some cases might be concerned Greater about. frequency. Yeah, RF, the frequency. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so basically I'm just trying to uh, test the receiver and the transmitter. And I don't want interference from other, you know, noisy equipment here that can really disturb my, my testing. Look at the little oh, camera, it looks so just dainty yeah, and nice. Yeah, so dainty and nice and cute, but that's a big challenge is that there's just so much technology inside this system. How'd you figure it out? Logistics, 
you know, you grow from just like a few people and you, you start needing more and more people. You know, you, you can't have a handful of people doing a consumer product. So eventually, as you grow, you need more and more people. You need sustaining people. You need customer service people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it all kind of, as you start growing, you start realizing what you need. A foreigner who's a female engineer, you're going to need something to succeed. What about being a woman in technology? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Persistence is a very important aspect of being an entrepreneur, and especially being a, a woman entrepreneur, because, you know, in general, you don't see women entrepreneurs that often, and so society hasn't really warmed up to that yet. Mm -hmm. And so um, persistence, however, is your number one quality. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your persistence? I was born in a third world country. I came here when I was <laughs> really young. Joya left Bolivia to pursue her engineering degree and master's in business from the top-ranked University of California, San Diego. I was essentially on my own when I was 17. Um, had never really left my house prior to that, but you know, traveled 10,000 miles and came to a college in the States, and I was on my own. Wow. So, you know, it's uh, it was a different language, different culture, different food. You know, Everything. Yeah, the cafeteria food sucked, all that stuff. <laughs> Today, although Joy relies on her board of directors, all men, she gets help from others not in the business world. You know, my mom gives me strength, my, uh, my dog. <laughs> my dog's all over our product box. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so, hey, we just... You gotta get it. You, know, you get it done. You get you get passionate about something, and you're just gonna do it. Just do it is Joy's mantra for entrepreneurs seeking venture capital. Don't be bummed if people tell you no, you can't do this a thousand or million times. If you know, just kind of believe in yourself, and if you think you have a good idea, um, you know. If, at least if you're pitching it to venture capital, you're gonna get a lot of no's, and eventually, you'll get a yes. So far, a lot of consumers have said yes to Joy's product, but this is only the beginning. One of the things about video is that people love to view everybody else's video, but they like more to view their own stuff. You made it means, you know, millions of people like our stuff and they buy it. That's a you made it moment. Yeah? You know? Is that what you're waiting for? We're, we're getting there. 